educator to some extent, uh, solo artist. I mean, do you feel that that represents you well? Like, how would you describe yourself? That's a tough one. Um, as far as your, your career and so Yeah, forth. yeah. Well, I mean, as far as the career is concerned, I guess it's pretty accurate. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, a little bit of both. I mean, half and half, really, because it's, you know, putting up the music, you know, writing music, recording music, putting out there, that's the main thing that I'm into doing. That's, you know, what my real passion is. But then, of course, also teaching people through, you know, through, like, Metal Method lessons, also the tab products that I've put out in recent years. Um, and that's, that's a passion of mine as well, because, you know, you spend so many years learning all this stuff and kind of learning your own take on it. And it's great to be able to, you know, share that information with people and uh, see how they use it. And, uh, and it's, you know, the best thing with that is he's hearing back from people and how it's helping them. Well, it seems like it's a, a compliment to your music and your playing as well, because this isn't something that you're pushing on to people. I mean, people, there's a demand for it. Sure. And obviously, you know, like your sweep uh, product has, has you know sold very well. And I know I know your uh, at least one of your metal method products was like broke some kind of record with them and that. Kind yeah. Of thing. Well, so, another yeah. sweep again, like that. Right. That kind of is ended up being somewhat of a uh, of a theme for me. But uh, yeah, the uh, sweep pick mechanics when that came out was uh, the top selling product upon release. Um, so that was uh, that was pretty exciting at the time. Um, so that. I mean, that uh, segues to a nice uh, a question that I wanted to ask you, because obviously sweep picking is a flashy technique, and it's a technique that a lot of people want to learn, Absolutely. a lot of guitar players. Um, maybe in some ways it's a technique that people over-prioritize. Absolutely. And so when you are, I know you, you don't do private uh, teaching now, but you used to do that. Uh, yeah, for over a decade. So, so when you were doing that now and, and just when you're fielding questions you get today, what do you feel like guitar players when they're starting out, what, what are the kinds of common mistakes that, gu that guitar players are making or things they overlook? I mean, what's... Well, honestly, I think the main problem that guitarists have when they're either starting out beginner, intermediate, or even reaching on advanced is um, just an inefficient method of practicing or okay. an unrealistic method. So obviously having certain goals is really important, right? Like, so like if you wanted to do, if sweet picking was a goal, that's great. And you want to be able to set up some kind of method to get there. That's going to ensure that you get to where you want to go. But the thing is like a lot of people will rush through material right. and end up with, you know, you might end up with a sloppy version or, you know, like something, but you don't end up uh, end up, but you know, a couple months later, you're going to forget whatever it was. It's just going to go away. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if you actually commit to a rigid practice routine using the metronome um, right. and just hammer it home. And what I always recommend is the method that I use is uh, the five times in a row with the metronome. You know, it's five times. Uh, let's say you start at something really slow, like let's say 70 beats per minute. And it's whatever is so slow that it's the easiest, you, you know, you can't make a mistake. It's, it's just super easy. And then you play that five times without making a mistake, crank it up two beats per minute, play it again five times, and you just keep doing that until you get to the speed you want to play it at. And that way you're not, when you're playing it, like performing it, you don't want to be playing at the maximum that you can play it. Sure, you, yeah, you want to yeah. be able to play it faster than... You want to than, practice beyond what you're actually required exactly. to do. Exactly. Yeah. But also, the idea behind this method is that every time you're practicing it, you're playing it correctly. Right. So you're not practicing it making mistakes. Practicing bad mistakes. Exactly. Yeah, sure. So if you're practicing over and over again, but every time or every other time you're playing something sloppy, that's what you're hammering into your head. Right. So this method of starting out so slow is that every time you play it, it's perfect. So it's not practice makes perfect, but perfect practice makes perfect. And the only way to do that is to is to start very slow and, and incrementally work your way up with patience and uh, yeah. commitment. 